Welcome back to Infigan friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting radical puzzle for which we have to simplify one algebraic expression b plus c over a minus b plus a minus d over b minus a. If a is given to us, square root 8 plus root 63. b is given to us, square root 8 minus root 63. c is given to us, square root 4 plus square root 7 and d is given to us square root 4 minus square root 7. So let's get started by considering the expression first. We will simplify this one first. So I can write b plus c over a minus b plus if I will take minus common from this denominator so I can write minus a minus b and numerator is as it is a minus d next step i will take this minus into the bracket so it will become b plus c over a minus b and then i will be writing d minus a over a minus b now denominator is same so i will write simply addition in the numerator b plus c plus d minus a over a minus b so let's collect a minus b from the numerator also. So I can write c plus d. Let me write d plus c or c plus d. And then I will be writing plus b minus a divided by a minus b. So I can write this one again as c plus d over a minus b. And then I will be writing b minus a over a minus b. So I can take minus common from the second rational term c plus d over a minus b unchanged. Now I will take if I will take minus common then I will be writing a minus b over a minus b. So ultimately we are calculating c plus d over a minus b minus 1. This value we have to find out. Now I will calculate c plus d and a minus b separately. So let's consider a minus b first. Now this is a and this is b. I will write a square would be 8 plus square root 63. b square will be 8 minus square root 63. Now I will add I will be getting a square plus b square equal to 16. Another point we can consider here if you can see a is always positive b is always positive. So if I am calculating a minus b you can see a minus b because both numbers are positive and b is smaller than a means a is bigger than b so a minus b will be positive. Now I can write AB square, whole square value. Take the product, product of these two. So I will be writing A square, B square equal to A plus B, A minus B. So I will write 8 plus square root 63, 8 minus square root 63. I will apply the difference of square formula, A plus B, A minus B, A square minus B square. So we can write 64 minus square root and square will be over 1. a square b square is equal to 1. So we can write ab is equal to plus minus 1. Now you can conclude from here if a is positive, b is positive, then a times b would be always positive. So we will reject this negative value. So this value will be rejected. So conclusion is AB is plus 1 only. Now A square plus B square is 16. AB is 1. So let us apply A minus B whole square formula because A minus B is required as per our expression. So I will be writing A square plus B square minus 2AB. A square plus B square is 16 minus 2 14 so again i will write 
a minus b is equal to plus minus root 14 but a is greater than b a minus b is positive so i can reject this minus sign again it cannot be negative so conclusion is a minus b is equal to square root 14 Now I will calculate C plus D. So C plus D it will be, let me write here, C square will be 4 plus root 7, D square will be 4 minus root 7. Now I will simply add both. So I will be writing C square plus D square. This value will be 8, 4 plus 4. Now I will consider product of both. So c square times d square. So I will write 4 plus root 7 times 4 minus root 7 a plus b a minus b. I can use difference of two squares. It will become 4 square minus root 7 square. 4 square is 16. Root 7 square is 7. So it will become 9. So I can write here CD whole square is equal to 3 whole square. So from here we can conclude CD is equal to plus minus 3. Again same logic I will apply. As you can see C is always positive. D is always positive. Once C is positive, D is positive, then the product of C and D it must be positive. So this minus we will reject on this ground. Rejecting. So what is accepted? That is positive value. So I will be writing CD equal to 3. Now our target is to find out C plus D. So I will be writing here one identity C plus D whole square. It would be C square plus D square plus 2CD c square plus d square it is 8 so i will write here 8 plus 2 cd so 2 times 3 so 8 plus 6 14 again you can see c is positive d is positive then c plus d will be always positive so once i will take a square root both sides i will be writing c plus d is equal to plus minus so minus sign will be rejected so on this ground I will write C plus D equal to square root 14 only. Now let's write our expression. So it is equal to C plus D this expression. Suppose it is expression E. So I will write here E is equal to C plus D as per our simplification on first slide. It was C plus D over A minus B minus 1. Let's put both the values. C plus D was square root 14. A minus B was square root 14 minus 1. So we can write it is 1 minus 1 which will be 0. So our simplified or our resolved answer for the given expression is 0. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching friends. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck.